57.9. This is crazy. This is an Austin, 8 by 20 Austin. Is that not the most purity? The pur pur purity. Pur purity. Purity. It's so purity. That's beautiful and purity mixed together. That's, I love this. This pop, when I walked by it, I said, man, I love this color scheme. And I think it's because of the, the transition. You know, the, you got white and red and you got, what do you call that up there? Like a tan or earth tone? It's almost like a tone? grayish tan. Yeah. yeah. I love, and so this is in Austin. Think about 57.9. For an 8 by 20 everybody's been asking me Randy what about your freedom home what happened to it right mm -hmm. this is it this is a freedom style this is your freedom this style home and we have an RJO if you don't want the dormers it's an RJO same floor plan mm -hmm. but we've finished it completely inside it's painted inside polyurethane ceiling and trim 30 inch overhangs swooping overhangs with our corbel designs look brackets okay, look. look at that man look the, the faux detail. Raptors 57.9. Come on, everybody. Where can you get a house like that with what? 50 year warranty on the paint, the siding, all done inside. All you need to do is furnish it. 57.9. Beautiful. Built by our Amish up in Kentucky. And this one actually has got solar in it. It does. Now, I just poked my head in this thing. It's got four big batteries and it's got the. Now, this is a custom fit retrofitted with the solar. So, to do that, either you can't put it on the tongue because we already have our mini split on the tongue. So they actually put them in the, in the living room. And I'm thinking what's going to happen is they're going to actually put like a sofa bracket uh, box over the batteries. And so it looks nice inside. But this is the Freedom RJO floor plan. If you're familiar with our old, our old RJO Freedom, it's the same thing. And like I said, we just added this beautiful model kind of like... Uh, I don't know. I, you know, I kind of got it from a California craftsman style home, which is an architecture that came out, I think, in the 20s and 30s. Look with, how beautiful. I love that. Well, you know, let me point out a few things on this model. Not only do you get, you know, the LP siding, which is from a diamond coat, and then you've got your board and batten in the gables, the freeze boards, the polyurethane 30 inch swooping overhang. Yeah the corbel brackets, the dormers, it's the same way, an air exchanger. Yeah. And let's go inside, Amanda. Let's just show them what's going on in here. I didn't intend to come in. You got it? Yeah, you got me. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so inside. Wow. Comes with a farm style sink, 57.9. Stop it. This one will put a little couple shelves in here. As you come in, this is the way the RJ on the Freedom was, right? Yep. So they put the water heater here. You put your fridge down here at the end. Yep. Then you've got your bathroom. This is just like the RJ as you come in. Exactly. So you got your toilet, your shower, and your sink as you come mm -hmm. in here. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Down here, this one's even got, so this one has some customizations, Amanda. Yes. I All right. See. As you can see, some of it's been tweaked a little bit. This one here, they opt for a washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. And oh my! Rob's been working on this apparatus for the ladder. And we tried to say, how can you access that with our fold up ladder? Mm -hmm. So he's built this wooden ladder. I know we've got two or three retro or prototypes that we're working on mm -hmm. to access the double dormer, two egress loft upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yep. I'm trying, to sit, I'm trying to. Oh, the loft is amazing. Yeah, there's the loft. Oh, and yeah. the loft, the loft, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, is um, eight by eight. Yes. Okay, so you can get a full, a king size mattress in the loft. Three 304 windows. All the trim is painted. The walls are painted white. The ceiling is done urethane. And then, of course, this one, like we just talked about is they just put these in here and i'm not sure how the homeowner is going to adjust or decorate yeah, this up yeah. with with these batteries now these are not lithium batteries these are carbon batteries uh, lucas actually prefers these even though they're super heavy but they can they can he likes them because you can drive it like you stole it like lucas says because you can wear them out you can and they charge back faster lithium is smaller lighter weight 
kind of for a different purpose. Yeah. You know? Okay. But anyway, they've added this. This is your total off grid solar, solar addition to it. And I'm sure they're going to build some kind of a box in, you know, how they're going to do all that. So think about it. For $57.9, you get everything but this solar right here. You're going to get the, we're going to get this prototype ladder. Staircase. Now, is this the ladder? Does Gloria have this ladder? It's different. We've it's changed different. up. Okay. Gloria's is long. We folded this one up, right? I see. Yeah. We've got it folded up, and it's got a mechanism to pull it down. We're actually working on some hydraulic arms for it too. I would like this has got a handrail, so this is like a ship's ladder. That's it a little is. bit. It's like a staircase ladder mix. Huh. So. Okay. Because a loft is hard to access, right? It is. Unless you have steps. Well, this one, because we're trying to come up with this nice set that it's like a staircase with but a ladder mix. Mm -hmm. So it's not as cumbersome or difficult to go up like a ladder. Right. Now think about it. 57.9 air exchanger. Mm -hmm. All done outside with LP siding. Yeah. Inside completely done. Urethane painted, done, floors, farm style sink, mini split, fan, yeah. lights. You have everything in here. Now, if I was thinking, I like everything on the main floor, mm -hmm. but I can't afford a $100,000 Birmingham. Right. For $57,900, Amanda, I could have my bed here. Yeah. And this, my bed would be my living room bed. This, there's so many people that live on the main floor. They do. That can be storage. It can be an extra bedroom for somebody, a guest bedroom, overflow. But still, at 20 feet long, look at the room you have in here. Well, in it up it just looks so yeah. nice well, and, yeah. yeah go ahead i'm sorry and this is painted yeah okay so you all if you've seen we've had a lot of requests for luann luann we did a uh, a house and we kind of call it luann's house and we did a, a a christmas and she had it so, so beautifully pretty. decorated for yes. christmas well i think what really caught the eye of everybody in that video was her decorations and her hominess. And that's why I love going in these homes when people have decorated, and it shows their personal touches. But also, Amanda, the walls were painted white, the trim, how it was done. And that's why I've incorporated this white walls, the trim that's already polyurethane and finished, and the contrast between this finished ceiling with that's, you know, natural look to the white walls. Mm -hmm. I think, like you said, I think it gives it a real warm, it does, homey, homey look. look. But think yes. about this. 57.9, Amanda. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get anywhere in the country that's going to have an LP siding. That, this looks like a home. This is not your box tiny house. This no. is not just a shed tiny house. And we build all those. Those all do have their purpose, and I like doing different designs. But this is designed to be, to be a tiny home, mm -hmm. not a tiny house. And I, you know, I guess I'm taking the terminology. It's like a small house, let's mm -hmm. say that. I took a regular, a regular built home, all the architecture of a regular large foundation built home and put it on a trailer so this looks like that, but smaller. And that's what I like, it's a miniature home. Yeah. I think this, I think a lot of municipalities, man, are having a hard time mm -hmm. thinking about these homes in the municipality because they think any tiny home they think they're going to be boxed up they're going to look junky yeah these don't no these look like a house and we've been trying to prove that for the last almost nine years and going that route leads me into my next subject leads you into your next All right. subject so everybody you know i get to itching and i've always got to be doing something creative and i'm always thinking about doing stuff and it's either i'm traveling across the country looking for communities and blah that's another video i gotta get you guys yeah. speed on but i have been playing around with different designs. And I'm gonna add another design to our line, I'm thinking. So, I want your vote, I want your comment on this, and let me ask you, I'm please, about to show you a picture. Please add feedback, that's yes. what we need. It's please, please have feedback. Yes, please, please have feedback. All right, so I'm gonna show you a picture of a home that I'm gonna build, and right now, it's gonna be eight by 20. It's gonna be with our new panels, which we're gonna show you, mm, it'll probably be next week. We have a home that's gonna be built with our new panels. I'm gonna to try to build this one maybe on the weekends myself because I wanna play around with it. 
But this is a cute little house that I'm thinking about adding maybe to our model line for our ESP. And this is what I'm wanting the next eight by 20 house to look like. I love it. That's so cute. It's just so cute. Eight by 20. Yeah. So this is and an it's gonna eight. be an incredible box. You got it. Now our panels that we'll be using will not be the, the uh, remnant panels that we've been using for doors. It's different panels. These are brand new panels that won't have any screws on the inside or the outside. Now this one's got cedar shakes on the ceiling and it's got cedar shakes for the walls. I won't be including them. I may just for our prototype throw cedar shakes on the roof just to give it that look. I'm going to build this. I love it. And I'm going to sell it for $29.9. Wow. All right. Yeah. So if anybody wants to buy that for $29.9, it's eight by 20. Now you can, we can all wait. Let me build this thing. I'm going to try to get it done here in the next two weeks. $29.9 for that little guy right there. And I love it because it's a little cottage. Now I'm actually thinking about having a little bit of, you're going to wait till I'm going to have fun with this. So I'm going to build a porch on it. It's going to be a covered porch. I'll probably put the tongue in the front. And anyway, I, I'm looking forward to playing around with this design. If we can make this work, this will be our second model of an, of the ESP. So we went from really it's our third model. We went from an eight by 16 to an eight by 20. And this is an eight by 20. And we've done a 10 by 20. Yeah, but we're not offering that model. Yeah, this right. could actually be a model. This could be a model. Yeah, and the reason I've chosen this is because it looks architecturally cute as a cottage, but it's also somewhat efficient to build. Mm -hmm. And I've always got to think about efficiency because we've got to build these things fast to, to get them out on time. If it takes us too long to build, nobody's going to win. So can I call it the Increda Cottage? The Incredit Cottage. That's right. The Incredit Cottage. The Incredit Cottage. Yeah. Yep. So that's ours. So there you have it. All right. So this is just for your comments. Tell me what you think. An Incredit Box. This is an 8x20, 29.9. Right now, that's just going to be like, I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. See what somebody wants it. I'm going to doll it up a little bit. I know Very this has got cute. shutters and stuff on it. And this is what the DIY is. If you buy this, we we were talking today. We start brainstorming. Thing. All right. Well, wait a minute. We could build the shutters, and you could buy you could buy the outside decorating package, right? And we'll throw the shutters in there. Throw some other flower boxes in there, and you add them yourself. Um, we could do an interior package. Throw some stuff in there. You guys add it yourself. So this is really fun. I hope you guys like this. Tell me what you think. I like to hear your comments. And remember, we are in a fifty-seven nine eight by twenty fifty-seven nine. So this is twenty-nine nine. Think about the difference. This is stick built, framed, polyurethane, closed cell spray foam insulated. It's got the mini split. It's got the farm style sink. It's got the double dormer access, LP siding on the outside. This has got the Mac Daddy everything in it. So we offer in everything from a, a $15,000 add a box to over a hundred thousand plus Birmingham home. Amanda, what else can we offer? You tell me. And listen, we're thinking about offering financing. I know. Five on five. Five on five. And we do have people who are still inquiring. If you're yes. interested in the financing, let us know. We're still taking the tally. Yeah. Yep. We're still taking a tally and we'll find out at the end of the day. We so. want to know before we launch it, there's a lot of work we got to do into the contracting and putting the system together. Somewhat of a software website. We're all going to put all this together, but I don't want to launch all that. I'd really like to get several hundred people that would say, hey, you know, Randy, if you had that in place, I would, I would be able to use it to get a tiny home that you guys are building. Mm -hmm. And it's only for the Adabox and for the Incredibox. I know we probably should do another video on this right here. Yeah. So to, okay. not to get everybody confused. But, but we'll do that. Um, anyway, if you're looking for financing, look at our five, five for five. Uh, five home five, whatever you want to call five it. To five. In five to five. Five to five is five years, five thousand dollars down, five hundred dollars a month. And that's what we're offering, okay? All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, share, notifications, comments. Comments. <laughs> yeah. Right. Thanks everybody. All right. Bye.